Kia ora New Zealand, I'm Philip Duncan, thank you for joining us. Well, we've got two different air pressure systems dominating our weather at the moment. A big high coming in from Australia to the southwest and a large area of low pressure which is starting to get better organised. And what we mean by that is it's starting to sort of move into one circular area rather than this big, large lumpy area of low pressure. Now between these two systems we've got the squash zone. That creates these stronger winds, the southeasterlies across the North Island. They'll be pretty blustery around areas like Northland, Great Barrier Island and Cook Strait across Wednesday. Now let's have a look at Thursday's setup because that area of low pressure as you can see better developed but moving out to the east. Strong winds, they're gale force but that's out at sea. So across land itself showers continue along the eastern side of the North Island. They'll also continue just up here around the Bay of Islands and Northland but it's dry further south and that's the positive news for Canterbury. After all that rain and gloom we're really optimistic you got a few days of sunny dry weather coming in and also getting a bit warmer as well. So that's Thursday. Friday it goes downhill a little bit, just a little bit for some areas, but for others it, it improves. So it improves for the eastern side of the North Island. These showers, they're starting to move away as big high pressure sort of pushes in. Each one of these isobars means the air pressure is going up towards the centre, which is out over Sydney. Now there are a few showers caught up in that southwesterly flow. Now that's out at sea on Friday. For the most part, there's a southeasterly flow, and that's a fairly dry one for places along these western areas and in the South Island as well. But this is moving in. So that's Friday. Saturday, those showers start to arrive along the western side. It's a fairly typical sort of light southwester with a few showers caught up in it. Nothing serious, nothing major, but a little bit frustrating if you're trying to do things like laundry or get out with the kids. Dry along the eastern side, and that's the good news for Canterbury, and also these isobars here are westerlies, and that indicates a bit of a change coming in this weekend. So by Sunday, uh, you'll start to notice those winds really picking up, and it'll become much windier over both islands, gales in fact through the southern Alps. It's mild in the east, and by the way, Canterbury, most of that rain's on the west coast. You might just get a few spits. Same story with a lot of places that have had perhaps too much rain on the eastern side lately. Most of this wet weather is coming in for the west coast. And it does get colder on Sunday night because by Monday uh, you've got that blue line coming back. That means snow on the mountains, strong winds, gale force in fact in some eastern areas. That will help lift your temperatures up though. That's a positive, but the showers, they continue around the western side. This is a colder snap coming in really for Monday, Tuesday, and even Wednesday to some degree of next week. There's still a bit more to go before we lock that in fully, but that is the outlook for the next few days. And by the way, you should be grateful, even though this weather might be a little bit miserable, uh, over in, in Colorado this morning, they had hail that was about that big and it uh, demolished police cars, it demolished lots of other cars. There was a great tweet by uh, a police force saying that they're looking for the weather, they want to uh, charge it criminally for damaging their police cars. So while we might have some rough weather at the moment, nothing as rough as uh, hail that big that can smash your car to pieces basically. That is all from me, we'll see you again tomorrow.